Uh, hello everyone uh, welcome back again uh, this is Mary Apollo welcome to my channel and to continue in the series of the election uh, today I'm, I'm I'm going to talk about one of the important people that uh, should be in the campaign in any political campaign the marketing director uh, or the strategists and other people call it the communication specialist because it comes in the category, uh, one of the category under the volunteers who always are there in the program. Uh, you have on the top the, 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 the manager of the campaign who is in charge of putting the vision and the mission and everything I read there. And then you come the marketing director. So the marketing director, uh, most of the time is the person who, uh, when they start the journey in, in the political uh work especially for people who who are like uh who are going to be candidate under uh different political parties this person has been there like he joined the political party when he was a student in the university or in the early ages before he graduated and then he he went to the job market and he joined the political uh movement and then from there he started advocating he started looking for the vision that he want to see so basically this is what the person used to do uh i used to be one of one of one of those people because i i was an advocate during the university and then i joined some political parties and i was starting doing this work so basically the role of this person at that stage is the person who moderate uh who coordinate uh, events they they write press release for the for the students' vision, mission, and then they distribute it to other, and also they do a lot of uh, the communication, uh, organize uh, into the press and media, and reach out to the, and go top level uh, to the to the political party vision, uh, hear what they want to say, and then like. Uh, do the outreach part of it. So this person have all these skills. That is why most of the time it's better for the political uh, who are running for the campaign to look for that specific category of person who is inside there under the political party because it's easy for them to trust that person. They share the vision. Uh, they have the same uh, mission and what they are working for. Because when you talk about policy and politics and all these promises that you are giving to the people, uh, you have to, to make sure that the team that they are working under you emotionally connected uh, to your vision, to your mission. So most of the time they have to go uh, on the political party and look to those kind of people and bring them to the, to the team. You can do that either through like having an online forms uh, when you are going to rally and you go in the grassroots, you talk and you outreach to the people that you need this kind of person with this kind of skills to be in your campaign. And some people, you just meet them at networking event. For example, I, I now when some of the clients that I work with, I, I was I went to the uh, one of the events, the networking event, and I'm the one who when I introduce myself and tell them this is what I do, this is this is this is what I can help you with, this is what I can offer you. So if you are interested, let us connect and see how I will be able to work with you and, and improve the quality of the of, of what you, of the work that you want. So from there, we, we communicate and then they, I, I talk to them like we did one one on one um, uh, conversation, one on one meeting. And then from there, I evaluate and I see the vision on the mission of, of how I can uh, build a successful media campaign uh, and bring the best skills that they have and also tell tell this the story in a way that is going to bring the people attention because when you are selling uh, these promises in my political campaign uh, this vision this change that i want to bring to people these issues one two three that i want to solve uh, you have to tell it in a strategic way and you have to do it like in a stage it doesn't want just it doesn't want just came once like you today you have decided to to, to run for for uh, the for a campaign you go and do it it become over time and it has a different stages and you need someone uh the marketing director has to tell you that and it's also under that it's related to a lot of issues uh like the brand the color that you will be using the body language 
uh, the community that you will be going and talking to them, the language you use, uh, a lot, a lot of things that come under this category. I'm going to talk later on about it. So basically what, what you will be doing as a marketing director, as a marketing director, your role is to advertise the campaigns, uh, to the people and, 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 and do that all the advertisement work and then get people engaged back to you. Some of their skills you have to have now, a good uh, marketing uh, skills like social media. You have to get uh, like really good skills in social media, especially when it comes to branding, branding the person campaign, and also some of the TV and radio skills and, and press release skills. I have worked in both because I start my work doing uh, press re press media and then I went to TV and radio. And then now I'm doing marketing and brand is totally different. The way you write the post, the way you highlight the post, the way you put your clips and edit them. So the person has to have all these skills joined together, the branding. And mostly when we are doing the campaigns, we are focusing more on the branding side than the TV and radio. Because the TV and radio is, is a little bit slower and you can like uh, lose people attention if you are not that much faster. Uh, but I disagree with that because I think sometimes it can work, uh, especially uh, in YouTube channel. And uh, if you have a YouTube channel, for example, or Facebook, depend on the audience that you have. And then Twitter is something different also. And also the person has to have uh, Photoshop editing skills. Uh, they have to have uh, writing skills, writing and research. Research is very important because you have to know how to do uh, research and analytical skills. You have to have the analytical skills to, to be able to come with a result and put the vision, uh, the short vision and the long vision for, for what you are going to, to do. So all this, you have to write them in report. You have to prepare the speech for the candidate. Uh, when they are going out, they are going to give the presentation. You have to write all these things. So these things all have to be faster, faster, quickly. And you have, sometimes you have to, to have someone with you who will work with you with the team. Like I work, exam for my example, I work uh, during the COVID-19 when we were managing uh, uh, the COVID campaign. I was in charge in the media. I used, uh, I, was, I was the director for the project, but mostly when we write the press release, I write them. And I have someone else in the team in the uh, in our group who used to help me edit it, and then after the person edited, and then we put the the last vision uh, for it, and then after that it go to the uh, it will go to what is it called to to put the layout and for the designer to put the flyer. So if you have like two or three people in that role, I think that's going to be better also you you do all the all also uh, reach out to, to the media you have to have that good networking with the media with the press uh, with the press the media have their contact uh, update uh, the, the team in what's supposed to be done uh, uh, depend on the priorities because when you're talking about the media and i know that when it comes to political uh, candidate most of the time they spend a lot of money uh in the media uh it doesn't it's, it's not that cheap so at early stage for example you need to go to to put uh to look for your budget to see most of the like the cheaper or the free media that you can reach out to them depending on your also strategy and, 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 and the vision and mission and your interest, what you want to, what you, what you want the, the, the people and also the, the channel strategies. And then the person have to have that update and prepare all the press release, give it to the media, hand it up to the media, call the media, uh, follow up with the, uh, with the team and also the candidate. So I think this is mostly what I want to cover about the marketing director in any political campaign. And there is a lot of, that person has a lot of skills. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, some of them, some of the candidate need to absorb that because when it comes to talking, a lot of you don't see the sense uh, of, of the sense of it. And what the, this person has uh, to offer you, sometimes even they can offer you more than, than the campaign manager uh, himself or itself, herself. 
so just listen to them and, and, and observe and take any suggestion. I'll meet you in the next episode where we talk about something different. I think I want to talk also about uh, when you choose to run for a campaign uh, as a, in a political party or as an independent candidate or under the political party and where the confusion usually comes to the, the people from. Uh, see you. Bye.